Okay, in this video we're going to talk about uh, number 6 from the 2016 Calc AB exam. Um, and it's kind of a problem where you're given a table and ask some very straightforward questions about it. Um, so let's see if we can do this. So here's your table. Um, it's got f, f prime, g, g prime. Uh, we're told that f and g have continuous second derivatives. Um, and then we're just asked to do three things that uh, you could probably do. Well, two of them you could probably do within almost the first month of calculus. So k of x is equal to f of x uh, f of g of x, I should say. And when we want the tangent line at x equals 3. So we're going to need k prime of x. So k prime of x is f prime of g of x times g prime of x by the chain rule. Um, and now we just need to plug in a lot of values. So to find k prime of 3, I like to show all my substitutions, like a lot of them. So f prime of g of 3 times g prime of 3, um, and now we need to start finding values. So uh, the first thing I need is g of 3. So if you look at the table and find g of 3, that's 6. So I'm doing f prime of 6 times g prime of 3, which is 2. And then I need to find f prime of 6, which is 5 from the table. So it's 5 times 2, so it's 10. So g, uh, k prime of 3 is 10. I need to find k of 3. So k of 3 is going to be f of g of 3. So I already know that g of 3 is 6, so it's f of 6. And then f of 6 is 4 from the table, so I get 4. It's a lot of table reading. Um, so now it's going to be, uh, I always use point slope, like always, unless they specifically tell me I need to rearrange it. Um, so I'm going to go y minus 4 equals 10, the quantity x minus 3, and move on. That's part A. Okay, so uh, the next part is telling me that h of x is a new function. It's going to be f, uh, g of x over f of x. So uh, I guess that's a small twist because usually it's f over g, but g over f, and I need to find h prime of 1. So quotient rule. So it's going to be bottom derivative of the top minus top derivative of the bottom, and then all over the bottom squared. All right. And now we're going to peel a lot of, pick a lot of things out of this table here. h prime of 1 is f of 1, which is negative 6, g prime of 1, which is 8, minus g of 1, which is 2, that row's getting a lot of use here, um, f prime of 1, which is 3, and then all over uh, negative 6 squared. And if we simplify that, we get uh, negative 54 over 36, which is negative 3 halves, and that's the answer to that question. Uh, let's move on to part C. So in part C, we're told to evaluate the integral from 1 to 3 of f double prime of 2x dx. So this is really just a u substitution combined with fundamental theorem question. So uh, I feel like the obvious choice is u equals 2x. Hopefully you also felt that way. Which means that um, du is 2dx, but specifically, uh, 1 half du is equal to dx. So I can sub in for dx, I can sub in for uh, 2x, and then I need to change the 1 and the 3 to u values. So if x is 1, then u is 2, and if x is 3, then u is 6. So I can rewrite the entire integral now to be um, the integral from 1 to 3 of f double prime of 2x dx is 1 half the integral from 2 to 6 of f double prime of u du. Okay, so not bad. And then um, the integral of f double prime of u is just going to be f of u. So it's 1 half um, f prime of u. So the, the integral of f, I don't know what I said. The integral of f double prime is f prime. So f prime of u, and then from 2 to 6. So that's 1 half the quantity f prime of 6. So you see I'm writing out a lot of steps because I feel like that really helps me avoid making some kind of dumb mistake, and I don't really want to make those. So uh, 1 half the quantity f prime of 6 is 5 minus f prime of 2 is negative 2. So minus negative 2 um, is 7 halves. And there you go. That's the end of that question. Hope you found this helpful and good luck.